So, I haven't read this book, and I see that there's things in this book that I didn't say in the series, and things that were not said in this book are verses that were not referred to. So, allow me to continue with my Jin series. Twain Jin verses further, from the 27th of the first month of 1438. Both gardens of paradise hereafter are said to have chaste females who haven't had sexual experience with other humans are spirits, according to Al Quran 55 56. It is important to, not, to note that feminine and masculine forms in Semitic languages usually are not gender exclusive, but implicitly or explicitly would get the message for the other sex across in most cases. Now, the feminine is a lot more different in that respect, that there's many cases where by saying the feminine, you are saying female. But the masculine is the gender neutral in general. Al-Quran 55, 50, 77, 55, 74, reiterates the implication of that there are women who were sexually opened by not only humans, but some of the jinn. There are folk tales the world over about women and men who had no heterosexual or homosexual experience, but were even husband or wife to a jinni or al-jinn, you know, multiple. From the 28th of the first month of 1438, Sertol Jinn. The mention of Muhammad getting revelation about the opinion of some jinn who heard some of Al-Quran is found in Al-Quran 72.1. Even though Surat al-Mala'ika, our chapter of the unfallen angel, our eminence of the light beings, is portion 35, and that brings a balance in what unseen entities are mentioned, many of the Judeo-Christian world would act based on Psalm 142 and other Bible verses to assume that all these creations are all demons and enemies. They will further declare that al Quran is demonic in this anti jinn based on their anti jinn bias. With equality like humans who are evil fire is not listed as a maxim there's a tradition where Muhammad recommends saying these 28 verses before going out in the evening. And that can certainly combat superstitious fears of all jinn. And when I go to a masjid, or right here we're in a masala, I like to, after the evening prayers, read or say those verses. That can certainly combat superstitious fears of all jinn. I even had an experience once, I'll share somewhere else, where I actually, where I said the chapter, and it was like I was surrounded by spirits when I said it. I, I paid attention and whatnot. I was left alone in the masjid that evening. I think it was, wasn't I was in a masjid, masjid al-Nur. Um, it was the old location, not the current location. Um... And I said the evening prayer, and somehow I was able to say this chapter, probably the only time in my life. And it was like I was surrounded. The building was full of this presence, but it wasn't light beings. It was gendered fire beings. Um, and I, I guess I saw some of them out the back of my head, or it's, it's, it's a weird way of saying if you haven't. Um, Islam teaches that evening is a time where al-jinn where come forth in larger numbers. Two verses later seems to imply that al-jinn can have spouses and children because these jinn understand that the issue of claiming God as has a spouse or children.
how they understand that issue. Okay. Does that further back up the idea that they can have these? The verse after that touches on sharing the Mazda Yasnian Zarathustrian belief that there are many lying spirits. Two verses before that backs up the first verse by connecting the wondrous to the truth. From the 29th of the first month in 1438, Honesty of Humans and Metaphysical Beings. Now the next series I'll break up into individual parts. Al-Quran 72.5 seems to beg the question to beg us to question why some jinn might expect or command pure honesty of us creatures with the trust, which leads to ultimate accountability. A number of years ago, I met an entity that called itself Vivaltia, who said, you will see for every one of these names, you know, of God, verses, calls. In these are hidden knowledge and words of new times, as far as I know, this genute purple being with a shape between a heart and a letter X was never in my present again. It was never my presence again. Was it lying about God in saying such things? I can't say. It didn't come back and attempt to communicate when I was aware of the fire being realms. Was it just hinting at matters I knew about? in a different way? Since I have learned more about divinity and other unseen matters, are there appropriate circumstances to lie? Do they differ for humans and all jinn in any way? And the following is from the 30th of the first month of 1438. The last 23 verses of the chapter of the fire beings. Some say that 23 is the number of the original alphabet and the biorhythmic and the biorhythm cycle. Al Quran 72 6 starts the sequence of the final 23 verses of that chapter by mentioning how some humans sought refuge with specific jinn and thereby increased in transgressing God's ways. Eighteen verses later is like God saying, wait to see what beings of refuge have a higher power number. In the verse after that, Muhammad and those who were told to admit ignorance as to if any ill result was real soon are a ways off. Eighteen verses before that, was how some of the clay beings and the fire beings didn't expect God to send apostles. The following verse mentions how there were jinn that wanted to travel the universe, but found guards and flames they couldn't stand out there. Eighteen verses later, it's the claim that God knows all unseen, and that God doesn't just divulge the occult. Then is the verse mentioning the exception found among messenger prophets of God, followed by a guard. The final verse in Surat al -Jin says that is to protect them till they have delivered their messages. A fully detailed accounting of what they did may be why God supposedly has them surrounded. Nine verses before that reminded of one of those paintings were a thaumaturge or carcist performing a spiritual rite surrounded by entities because Muhammad is described as being surrounded by a dense crowd of jinn who witnessed his recital. In one or more narration, Muhammad was seen preaching or praying and smoke or clouds were seen to come near by a witness. Nineteen verses before the final one of this chapter, it mentions how other jinn would sneak to try to hear the host of heaven. Some Islamic narratives mention how they would come with bits of information and mix it with others for soothsayers. 
The next verse is the claim that some from al related how that was not enough for them to predict the future or judge who is, was, good or evil. Some narratives say that the practitioners of priestcraft accept the lies that are told to them and even some of their own. Thirteen verses after that mention how Muhammad should claim he's only to convey God's message and warn of eternal hellfire. The verse before is commanding people to declare that none will protect a person from such but God. Do you believe God is ultimately in charge of the realms of punishment or the, fo or the folklore that makes hell the devil's domain? So, a choice there. Feel free to answer in the comments section when I question. Eleven verses before that speaks of how some jinn are wicked and others are righteous. The theme thereabout them being different sects seems to indicate why Satanism in particular seems to generate many sects. Then is a verse about jinn admitting that they can't escape God in earth or air. Can they escape by fire, water, or spirit? The verse to follow that mentions how these jinn believed in order to alleviate fear and hold to a hope for reward. It is interesting to note that Cal, or Cal Naranjan, or Jot Naranjan, our time without fear, or highest without fear, is thought to be Satan in some new age religions with Hindu roots. Now, I'll talk more about that in the New Age Religion folder. I have at least 60 written videos to add, and I guess I could talk about some wing, talking about some of the books and talks and maybe some journal entries aside from that, something like that. The theme of difference arises in the verse after that about Al-Jinn, dividing into two groups, a group who is differed with what Al-Quran said and Al-Muslimun are submitters. The base of Islam is found six verses later, and that is dividing two groups who differed with what Al Quran said and Al Muslim moon submitters. The base of Islam is found six verses later, and that is to only worship God, making no associates with him in anything. What is the basic creed of those who consider Therein, al qa The verse starting, the second half of the verses claims they will be like the firewood of hell. In many cultures, omens were derived from the sparks of the burning logs. What message would we find if there is only... If there is a reality to that. Six verses later, it is reminded that whoever shares a message doesn't have the power to make another believe or execute ultimate consequences for it. Five verses before that claims a holy scripture is a test. You know, just not, we mess up the word prophecy in this language. It's, it's There's more to news than, you know, just predicting the future. If there was an unholy message, wouldn't that be a different type of text? The 18th verse is the final one for me to comment on here. That tells al-masjid, al-masajid, or mosques, are meant to be for worshiping God alone. Would there be a more fitting name for other places of worship? Or is denying that their point? There's actually a masjid a shaitan and the devil's mosque and uh, there there's titles like that in 
virtual and maybe other groups, and there's claims to demonic scriptures. Some of them are labeled as grimoires, but some of these things labeled as grimoires aren't actually grimoires. But uh, anyways, there's some stuff going on there. From the first to the second month, the 1438, the whisperers, the Arabic month of Safar, are yellow, are zero, are empty. It's a month that has much superstition attached to it from sources outside of Islam. Some still artificially shorten it, deny it, its, play, its due place, delay it, or deem it unlucky. It is fitting that I end the series as that starts. Al-Quran 114.6 simply says, From the jinn and the humans. What other spiritual text ends by mentioning that humans and invisible beings are the same somehow? Two verses before that mentions the evil whispers from the whisperers. Then is the verse of how this is even into the center of the chest and the depth of the psyche. This final verse and context teaches us that both humans and fire beings are jinn, can be the demons responsible for the thoughts, impulses, and messages from inside and outside.